Hi guys, welcome to this week's update with us RG Day Trains at David Junction. So lots has been going on, still going on, and as we know, plans are never our friend. So a big uh, congratulations as well to all our winners from our draw at the weekend. Very successful and hopefully some vouchers that have gone across and people are going to have a little shop with WW Scenics. Um, in which case, if you guys still haven't uh, used it or are new to the channel so don't know about it, so WW Scenics have given everyone a voucher code to use. I'll get Rob to put it all on the bottom here, I think it is. Um, just if you haven't had it, then you've got it. Um, that is used on your first time purchase. We're not sure if it's a returning customer or a new customer. We think it's just first time using it. Um, so that is there as well. So for this week's plan, the plan that's definitely has been going is Robbie's going to have a look at the line here that he's taken up again and looking at maybe putting it on the TMD. So he's going to be going across, laying everything out, and hopefully we should have a track that stays all being well. Now, I still know that he needs to order points and things like that, but it gives him a rough idea with old points that we've got of where things are going to go so they can buy the new ones and they can go on. Now, I'm going to continue with my airbrushing. So I've now been challenged by Rob. I say this, he isn't actually here at the moment, um, but I've actually been challenged over on the wall for the extension that's gone there's a little scene that he wants me to try and create. So I'm going to have a go at that on a practice piece first. I'm not that brave. But I've always got the blue paint to paint over. Not sure if it's going to be airbrushing or paint at this point. But we'll see in a minute, won't we? So a big thank you everyone as always. And thank you for everyone that has commented and like and subscribed to us. You know, these all make a big difference in helping our channel to get out to other people. Not only that, but it brings more people in. You know, the advice that we've had from the start, it just means so much to us guys. It really does. So anyway, I'm going to crack on now and we will see you later in. Bye for now. Right guys, so I was going to do the tracks for the maintenance area, but I need this TMD more stable than it currently is. Because if you look at it, excuse the wobbles, it's not very strong in the corners. That's the... Uh, See, you can actually bend it out of shape. Um, so I need to um, actually try and create some strengtheners. The corners, maybe Pico should have a think about that and put some strengtheners in because there's no crossbars, nothing to keep it rigid. So I'm going to have to try and create my own on the 3D printer. Unfortunately, the under five that we got has developed some sort of fault. I think it's more user error than anything else. Um, we need to get a dryer for the filament because I think the filament's got moisture in it. So what we're borrowing is this one, which is the Ender 3. And the one cool thing I like about this, if the Ender 5 is supposed to be better, why hasn't it got this light in it? Um, it does have a smaller bed though. That's a disadvantage, so you can't create as big of things. But it's tall enough. I think it's absolutely fine for um, double O gauge. Um, we do want to get into creating things and maybe selling them on um, a cheap side sort of thing. But uh, yeah, we'll have a go with this one. See how the uh, print turns out. I've only got a little bit of filament at the top of that. He only had a little bit of filament left. And ours is stuck into the Ender 5. So I'm going to, as I say, we're borrowing this. If it's any good, I'm... I don't know, I might make him an offer on it if he's interested in selling it. Possibly. But yeah, we'll have a go at that and see how it turns out. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Right guys, so there we have it. Eight simple corner supports for the TND. Um, not the easiest things to find, I'll be honest. Um, Tinkercad, which we use to create files, doesn't actually have a right angle triangle on it. 
So I had to dig around, <clears throat> find a simple one, and then adjust it to the correct heights and widths for the TMD. And put it into Prusa Slicer to print it out. Hopefully we'll get the fault sorted on the other printer, but borrowing this one for now will do. So that's the end result. I'm sure Grace will show you gluing them in maybe on the, um, the next live. I'll pass you on to Grace anyway. Here we go, on to the practice piece, because like I said, I'm not brave enough to do it on the wall yet. So the plan here, guys, is Rob's kind of thought at the bottom, well, the top layer, and that's my phone, um, at the top layer of our board, I've put in maybe some grass, because there's going to be the train line right along the back of the wall. So he said, maybe why don't I see if I can create some kind of grass effect and then a fence, and then the clouds above. So this is all about literally having a play and seeing if I can do some grass. Now, if this doesn't work well, I can always go to a paintbrush, but when you're using one kind of equipment, if I can do it with the same, why not use it? And it, it gives me a chance to explore the airbrush and what I can and can't do with it. It could even be I use a combination of the both. So I'm going to crack on, I'm saying so a lot as well, but I'm going to crack on, see how it goes or how well it does. And we know this is uh, always experimental and like we say, I always show you guys the good and the bad, but I've not got many greens with this, so it should be interesting to see how this goes as well. four percent so i've got to get through this quick but as you can see this is very rough now and the next week during the week i'm probably going to go add detail with a paintbrush see what i can create there and maybe add a bit more to it but i think for today i'm going to leave it possibly as there i've still got to add in a fence and bring the grass down now but i think that's it so thank you all once again as always for tuning into this if you haven't please like uh, any hints tip and tricks tips tips and tricks please put them in the comments guys we always appreciate it especially if there's something i could do better and if you're new to us please subscribe so thanks everyone and we will see you later on in the week let's see what we get up to bye for now guys